there. I'm Ronald McDonald, and you and I are about to discover America together. We'll visit all the states and travel thousands of miles. To get around, we'll need my amazing traveling machine, which flies, dives, swims, and scoots along anywhere you'd want to go. This incredible machine is called a gyrokinetic metamorphic tripmobile, but I just call it gyro for short. Every time we come to a new section of America, gyro will honk. And that will let you know it's time to turn the page in your book. Well, we're ready if you are, so strap on your ears and let's visit the United States of America. Washington, D.C. is not a state. It's the capital of all the states. Washington, D.C. is home for Americans everywhere. The President of the United States lives here, and you can visit his house. Please ring the bell. When the idea for the United States got started over 200 years ago, many new people came to live in America. They sailed across the Atlantic Ocean, and lots of them landed in a place called Massachusetts. So the state of Massachusetts is a good place for us to begin our trip through the Northeast. We There's a part of Massachusetts that reaches far out into the Atlantic Ocean. It looks like a fish hook. Maybe that's why fishermen love to fish in the deep blue waters of Massachusetts. If you put Massachusetts on a string, you might catch the largest fish ever. Vermont. Maple syrup comes from trees. And there are plenty of trees in the state of Vermont. If every kid in America took a plateful of pancakes to Vermont, there would be enough maple syrup to make the biggest breakfast in the world. Enough for second helpings. New Hampshire. There's a river in New Hampshire called the Lost River. It disappears in large holes, runs underground in the dark, and then appears again. So it's not really lost. The lost river in New Hampshire is simply playing hide and seek. people there make beautiful jewelry, clothing, silverware, and toys. Rhode Island is proof that lots of good things come in small packages. There's a tiny island with no palm trees. But on this island sits one of the largest cities in the world. More than a million people, Millions of people live on New York City's Manhattan Island, where the buildings are much taller than palm trees. New York Island City, New York, you're so pretty, New York. Look at any calendar, and you'll find 365 days in a year. In Maine, there's a group of islands called the Calendar Islands. Naturally, there are 365 of them. And just like every day, 
Each calendar island in Maine happens only once. Connecticut. Tom Thumb lived in Connecticut, and while he didn't get to be tall, he became a famous circus performer all over the world. As a full-grown man, Tom Thumb was only about three feet tall. Maybe Connecticut just loves people, no matter how big or small they are. Pennsylvania. Johnny Appleseed's my name, planting apple trees is my game. With tender love and care, I plant them everywhere I go. Whoa. In Pennsylvania, there was a man with bare feet and a tin plate for a hat. They called him Johnny Appleseed, and he planted apple trees everywhere he went. Most people think that Johnny Appleseed's apple trees were a good idea. Pennsylvania knows a good idea when it sees one. Plant them everywhere and go. Whew. The Northeast's a busy place, and nobody there was busier than a man who worked in New Jersey, Thomas Edison. Edison was one of the brightest men to work in New Jersey. Without Thomas Edison, you wouldn't be able to see very much at night. That's because he invented the electric light. You can't see much at night without the electric light. Thank Tom and New Jersey the next time you get to stay up late. Let's head south now, Gyro, because there's no place prettier than the American Southeast. All aboard! First stop, Maryland! I see a train coming. We better get on board. I see a train coming. I think we better get on board. Oh, yeah. One of the first passenger trains in America was built in Maryland. Maryland is also the home of the first famous tooth school for dentists. So when you're riding the train, smile and think of Maryland. Delaware is called the Diamond State because it's small, but very important. Delaware was the first state to fly the Stars and Stripes. Next time you see the flag wave, wave back and remember Delaware. Virginia. Virginia was the home of America's first president, George Washington. George Washington. He has been called the father of his country, which means that all 50 states are his sons and daughters. What a wonderful family for Virginia's George Washington. West Virginia. Outer Space Radio. Outer Space Radio. 
Everybody likes to hear the news of the world. Well, in the hills of West Virginia, there's a telescope shaped like a dish. The telescope works very much like a radio. The radio telescope is pointed toward outer space. And West Virginia scientists are listening for the latest news from Mars. Ronald to gyro, Ronald to gyro. Prepare for landing in North Carolina. It was the Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur, Wilbur and Orville brothers. Wright, on December 17th, 1903, made the very first ever first, definitely very first ever first, very first airplane flight. In North Carolina, there's a town called Kitty Hawk. Orville and Wilbur, Orville and Wilbur, Orville and Wilbur brothers, Wright. The first people ever to leave the ground in an airplane left from Kitty Hawk. Very first, ever first, definitely very first, ever first, very first airplane flight. They also made a nice landing. Nice landing! In North Carolina. South Carolina. The South Carolina Charleston is probably the fastest dance ever invented. To do the Charleston, you shake your head, hands, arms, and legs as fast as you can. Like most Americans, the people of Charleston, South Carolina love to dance fast. It builds strong muscles. Florida. In Florida, there's a giant swamp called the Everglades. The Everglades are filled with beautiful trees, water, and alligators. Alligators like to walk and swim in the Florida Everglades because there aren't many people around messing things up. Georgia. There's a welcome sound of Dixie and a gentle warm evening in breeze. And the Cherokee Road may be a trip for the nose, but nothing tastes as sweet as Georgia peaches. Oh, yeah. Georgia is famous for its peaches. Georgia peaches are round and juicy, and they taste sweet. They're also fuzzy, like a baby's face. Peaches feel soft. Just like the warm Georgia breeze. Georgia! You know, the South usually is warmer than the North, even in the winter. But I know a wonderful place in the South Central states where it's never too hot, never too cold, but always just right. And it's underground in the cool caves of Kentucky. Beneath the bluegrass of Kentucky, there's a whole other world. It's a world of rocks and rivers, and no people live inside it. The underground cave in Kentucky is so big, it's called Mammoth. Much, much, much bigger than your basement. Louisiana, or Louisiana. Every year, Louisiana has one of the best parties you can imagine. The party is called the Mardi Gras, which means Fat Tuesday. The Mardi Gras ends on a Tuesday, and by that time, Louisiana knows that you'll be dancing, singing, and eating as much as you can. You'll come. Alabama. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut, peanut, peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut, peanut, peanut butter. George 
Washington Carver lived in the state of Alabama. He was a very clever Alabama scientist who discovered hundreds of things to make with peanuts. Without Professor Carver, you'd be eating jelly sandwiches without peanut butter. Arkansas. In the state of Arkansas, there are pools of water in the ground called the hot springs. The hot springs are like bathtubs in the ground. The hot water is turned on by Mother Nature, and Arkansas never pulls the plug. Boy, I'm glad you like water, Gyro, because we're about to cross a mighty river, the Mississippi. Mississippi has many rivers. Small rivers like the Singing River and large rivers like the Mississippi, which is one of the greatest rivers in America. Mississippi is also the best looking state. Why? Because it has four eyes. Tennessee. The Great Smoky Mountains in Tennessee are some of the oldest mountains in the whole world. Clouds as thick as a thousand campfires almost always hang over the Tennessee mountains. That's why they're called the Great Smokies. From above these clouds, I can almost see what's waiting for us on the other side. Hi again. It's Ronald McDonald here. Are you still with me? Gyro's all set to run, so get ready to ride through the American Midwest. Wheels never stop turning, 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 turning the wheels. Never stop turning, 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 turning the wheels. Michigan. Never stop turning, 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 turning the wheels. Never stop turning, 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 turning. A little over a hundred years ago, there were only 12 cars in America. Today, because of Detroit, Michigan, there are millions of cars, trucks, and buses. In Michigan, the wheels never stop turning. Illinois. In busy cities, men build tall buildings. One of the tallest buildings in the world is in Chicago, Illinois. It reaches the clouds. And from the top, you can see just how busy Illinois really is. Indiana. America loves parades, and every parade needs a marching band. The folks of Indiana make tons of tubas and trumpets. So, next time you hear marching feet coming down the street, stand and cheer for Indiana.
Wisconsin leads the nation in dairy products, like milk and cheese. But Wisconsin also grows lots of cranberries, peas, and pomegranates. If you could eat the state of Wisconsin, you'd be very happy and very fat. Minnesota is a state with thousands of lakes. Large, small, and in between. Some people once thought that Minnesota's lakes were the footprints of giants who walked the earth long ago. So, uh, watch where you step in Minnesota. Ohio. Ohio is the home of Neil Armstrong. He wasn't the first man to walk on Ohio, but he was the first man to walk on the moon. It's a long way from Ohio to outer space. And it always feels good to get back to Ohio. It sure feels good to get my feet back on the ground. There are so many good things growing around here, we must have landed on America's Great Plains. What? Kansas! Oh yes, and Kansas is the breadbasket of the nation. Oh yes, and Kansas is the breadbasket of the nation. Kansas is called the breadbasket of the nation. That's because Kansas grows lots and lots of wheat. Wheat is made into bread. So, if it weren't for Kansas, you might not have toast in the morning. The badlands of North Dakota remind some people of a strange planet. They're full of rocks and other good hiding places. So the badlands of North Dakota were once a perfect place for bad cowboys to run away from the good guys. And the sky isn't cloudy all day. South Dakota. Presidents are very important people. The faces of four of America's greatest presidents are carved into a mountain in South Dakota. They are so huge you could stand on their noses. But good presidents don't want kids to do anything dangerous, and neither does South Dakota. Missouri or Missouri. In old Missouri, the Pony Express was used to send messages across the Old West. Famous horseback riders like Buffalo Bill were really postmen. It took them 10 days to carry a letter to California. Today, most folks in Missouri use the
the telephone. Iowa. Most big statues show people made of stone or metal. If you go to Iowa, you'll see giant animal statues made of dirt. Iowa's Indians made the statues many years ago to show they loved animals as much as people. Nebraska is famous for its farms, but before there were farmers, there were Indians. Crazy Horse was a great leader of Indians in Nebraska. He really wasn't crazy. He was simply busy riding his horse like crazy. There's a whole lot of open space out here in the great American Southwest. Where would you like to go first, Gyro? Arizona. There are many canyons in Arizona. Canyons are carved from the earth by rivers, the same way water makes tunnels in a sandcastle. The deepest canyon of them all is Arizona's Arizona. Grand Canyon. Arizona, you got the grandest canyon of them all. Over one mile from top to bottom. New Mexico. Did you know that cavemen once lived in New Mexico? They lived in the mountains and deserts with wild animals for friends. You can still see their cave homes on the magic cliffs of New Mexico. Don't knock. Nobody's there anymore. Utah. It makes you float. It tastes just like the ocean. In Utah, there's a great lake that tastes just like the ocean. That's because it has lots of salt. You can float in Utah's Great Salt Lake and feel just like a French fry in the sun. Just like a French fry in the sun. Colorado is famous for its Rocky Mountains. Of course, most mountains are made of rock, but the Colorado Rockies have more rocks than most. Pikes Peak, almost three miles high, is the most famous Rocky of them all. Texas is known for its oil. Oil to help run cars, trucks, buses, airplanes, and other things that move fast. But Texas oil won't make a cowboy's horse run faster. Nope. Horses don't have gas tanks. Everybody has a nickname, even states. What about the state of Oklahoma? Oklahoma's nickname comes from the first two letters of its real name. And that's okay with everybody. Feeling okay? Good because there's a lot to look at up ahead in the states near the mountains and Pacific Ocean. Beautiful Wyoming. Wyoming is the home of Yellowstone Park, 
where hot water shoots up from the ground like upside down showers. No wonder the state of Wyoming is so clean and beautiful. Montana. Look at a map of Montana. The west part is made of steep mountains. The east part is pretty flat. Now, if you were a giant, wouldn't it be fun to slide from one end of Montana to the other? You bet. Nevada. In the days of the Old West, Nevada looked like a desert. There wasn't much water, so people used camels to carry things. Camels can walk for miles on one drink of water. Today, Nevada isn't so thirsty, and camels aren't needed anymore. Idaho. Millions of potatoes are grown in Idaho. But long before the potato, there were volcanoes that made part of Idaho look exactly like the moon. Imagine landing in a crater full of mashed potatoes. California is a wonderful place to make things grow. If you're good at growing things, some people say you have a green thumb. Well, almost every food you can grow in America grows without much trouble in the California sunshine. So California must have the biggest green thumb of all. Almost half the state of Oregon is forest. That means millions and millions of trees. The trees provide many products, including paper. You might be reading a piece of Oregon right now. Oregon's forest green. Washington. A dam holds water. Washington's Grand Coulee Dam is one of the biggest. No matter how large, small, fat, skinny, or tall, every person in the entire United States could fit inside the old Grand Coulee. 
Let's get together in Washington sometime. Well, here we are at the edge of the Pacific Ocean, Gyro. Are you ready for a swim? I'll get our snow tires ready, because we're going north to Alaska. Alaska is the largest state in America. It has mighty mountains, grassy plains, and huge forests. Not many people live in Alaska, which makes it a fine place for a quiet picnic. But it's cold there, so wear your winter coat. Our trip around America is almost over, Gyro, but I've saved one of the best places for last. On the beautiful islands called Hawaii, they have a magic word to tell us. Hawaii is a state made up of eight tropical islands. In Hawaii, you can say a lot with only one word. The word is aloha, and it means hello. Goodbye. And I love you. Can you think of nicer things to say? Aloha. Aloha.